Hello, everyone! It's Will and Cat, episode 30! Wow! I can't that's believe a nice we've done 30! Number. It is a nice round number. And it would have been more appropriate if we were doing the urgent today, but we're not. There's a couple of village requests to knock out. That's okay. I I am not the best at timing. Well, you can't help that. Nah. You do what so you we do gotta... when you do. These things happen. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. T first up is a huntathon for a Keizu. Oh boy. So if I had a particular mind to, we could hunt like a whole bunch of Keizu. I don't know why I would do that, but we could do that. I mean, Keizu stakes. You could do whatever you wanted, I guess. Pale stakes. We we are not hunting a whole bunch of Keizu. We're just doing the two. That, that's it. Yeah. Very minimum. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and you know, I made like an attempt to like match my equipment to the monster I'm fighting. Oh, good. So we're wearing Astalos armor for the Thunder Res and using the um, Rathalos sword for fire attack because Kaze is weak to fire. I'm so proud of you. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That the is Aurora? Nice. Yeah. Have you ever seen I the just... Aurora in real life? I haven't. It's a big one on my bucket list, you know. Like, I want to see it. One time it came all the way down here. There must have been one hell of a solar flare, but I've seen must it. Must have been. I've seen it one time in my life. Yeah, I want to see it. It looks, it just sounds like it's so pretty. Aurora Borealis. Yep. And Keizu. The Aurora is, the Aurora is pretty. Keizu is not pretty. Keizu ugly. Localized Keizu a dick. entirely in one zone. Mm-hmm. And uh, appropriate music for the conversation. I don't recognize this. Is this. Ice Cap Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 3. That's why I don't recognize it. Yeah, I've I never like played Sonic. Sonic 3. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Special? Special? I'm showing off something very, very special. Wrath of Meow! <laughs> <laughs> this is Wrath of Meow! This is amazing. This oh, is one of those, meter those moves the top. that is extremely stupid and, and fun and I probably love it. not very good at all, but you can just you get a tank and you shoot shells at the monster. Some things and are more awesome than practical, and that's what makes them good. Yes, and Wrath of Meow definitely fits the description. I mean, just look at this stupid thing. I like every time you shoot the shell, your cat does a little fist pump. Like, yeah, yeah. I shot the thing. Yeah, I shot the thing. <laughs> oh, you missed though. You missed that time. It has uh, typical tank controls. It's oh, it's not tank very maneuverable. It has tank controls. Yeah, yeah. Go <laughs> yeah, figure. It's a tank. It has tank controls. You didn't tell me that the tank has tank controls. I hate tank exactly. controls in video games. It's my least favorite. Well, th this is a, game. this is a tank though. What you if you're kind controlling of a tank? It. I yeah, hate tank controls, tank even monster. if I'm controlling a tank. Well, I'm sorry, Lobster. That I guess you wouldn't like Wrath of Meow. Probably it, it's kind of like how I would only invert the Y axis if I was flying a plane. I don't like in a game. I don't even like that. Like it's why I can't play Star Fox. Oh, I like I like Star Fox. Like I I actually hate inverting the Y axis. Otherwise, if I'm mm -hmm. pressing up on the stick, I want to look up. Mm -hmm. But with a plane, it makes sense because you're like. Messing with the you control. Uh, I'm, yeah, you control the rudder. I'm so bad when the control scheme changes in any way. Hey, it's down. You know what that means more tank. I, I decided to, to do it again because Wrath of Meow was fun. <laughs> and why not? Did you test to see if you do like like just contact damage? Like, can you roll the treads over that Keizu's toes? Oh, I should have thought of that. Actually, I was, it I was too like busy you shooting. Yeah, you I think you did. Anything. Yeah, yeah, I did. But I um, yeah, I was mostly just shooting it because I mean, come on. <laughs> what button are you pressing to fire? Uh, I think it's just the attack button. Oh, just like X or A then. Yeah. I honestly forget. It's been a while since I recorded this, but I wanted to make sure if I had it on my list. Show off Wrath of Meow, and I did. So this is a list. special episode. Yeah, well I didn't say it wasn't special, I just said it wasn't the urgents. Yeah, I guess future Silver will have to tell us which button you were pressing. Sure, I can try. Like, I can go and fight something and test. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're just gonna finish this thing off because it's, it's gotta be almost dead. 
So, After. Sonic 3, because this is great mm -hmm. music. What's your favorite yeah. Sonic game? Probably Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, yeah. Because yeah. it, uh, you know, has the nice music from all the games, and you can be Sonic and Knuckles and Tails. Yeah. Probably, like, you know, probably my favorite is Sonic Adventure 2. Mm, that's a good one. If you gotta pick a 3D Sonic, that's a good to pick, yeah. yeah. I, I, I would probably pick that as my favorite 3D Sonic. They're not very good. The 3D, uh, 3D ones are not very <laughs> no. good, no. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 is okay. It, it's it was my first Sonic, so... Aha, uh -huh, yeah. I started with Sonic 2. I'm old school. I didn't have I, a uh, Genesis growing up. I only had Nintendo. <sighs> We have one of them because uh, my parents split, so my, my dad got us a Genesis to kind of ease the transition a little bit. A, br a, a bride. <laughs> he, he, he was like, yeah, he was like, I'm sorry your mom and I split. Here, have a Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. It, it kind of worked. It, you know, it worked. Yeah. Hey, I turned out okay. It was fine. It was fine. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. So so which one is the one where Sonic goes fast? It's all of them, surely. Oh. Does Sonic ever not go fast? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it depends. I think some of the some of the like handheld games he doesn't go very fast. Well, that that's stupid. Sonic should go fast. He's, he's Sonic. He's supposed to go fast, right? <laughs> You know, uh, I also I I did really very much enjoy Sonic Mania on the Switch. Oh yeah, Sonic That's Mania was really very good. good. I think That's Sonic really, Mania really is my favorite two D Sonic. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I would definitely put it up there. Like, um, Sonic Three Knuckles just has a lot of power of you know nostalgia. Uh, yeah, for me. Uh, but you know, for in terms of like mo modern Sonics, that would definitely be my favorite. It's real good. Much better than what was it, Sonic? This other Sonic game that came out last year. Oh, that one. Yeah, uh, we don't talk about that one. That one's really bad. <laughs> Where Sonic got kidnapped and was a, a prisoner yeah, of war. Yeah, was a war criminal or he, yeah, no, prisoner, prisoner, yeah. prisoner of war. Like, yeah, things that I really want in my Sonic games: torture and you know, war prisoner Sonic. And why are we doing this again? I, no, well, I, I just want him to run around and go fast. Yeah. And maybe maybe bop Robotnik in the head a few times. Like, come on. Save the animals. Yeah. As opposed to Metroid, where you're supposed to kill the animals. You save them in Super Metroid. Yeah, I was about to say you're. <laughs> no. Kind of, kind of you missing the mark there. Kill, you should kill the animals in Super Metroid. No, no, you save them. If, if you are not a complete monster, you save oh, I, I the don't animals. Think, I don't think Lobster understands the reference. So Maybe it, not. In Super Metroid, there are secret uh, animals that teach you how to wall jump. Yes, I understand the reference, oh. and you should kill the animals. No! Why would you kill them? They're your friends! So you can go faster. No! You don't You don't need to kill them to learn how to, how to shine spark. No. Samus ain't... Sonic, you she don't... doesn't need to go faster. You need to... Have you ever watched a speedrun of Super Metroid? No, and if it involves not saving the animals, this is nothing I want to be a part of. In, ever. In the speedrunning community, there's a big debate between whether you should save the animals or kill the animals. Obviously, save them! Why is this even a debate? Because if you kill the animals, you finish the game faster. I don't care that doing that makes you a literal monster. We're not speedrunners here. We're, we're yeah, just... we're not. Also, we're not speedrunners. I'm so save the animals. I love speedrunning, so. No, it, it, I refuse. You, you 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 save those those animals because they're your friends. How dare you leave them behind to die? <laughs> There's you? also taunt the animals where you run up to them and don't save them no! and then leave. No! No! <laughs> Lobster, why? I am horrified. <laughs> I, I. No! I bet she thinks that the Metroids should be left to uh, continue destroying everything they come in contact with. No! Oh, oh, fuck Metroids! Kill them all! They're horrible creatures. 
horrible creatures. But anyway, that was the two Keizu, so I'm gonna grab my Paw Pass ticket, and we're gonna end this quest, and we're going to pretend this whole conversation never happened! <laughs> and, and no- and we're gonna pretend that nobody suggested that you do not save the animals from Metroid. <laughs> never happened! Never happened. Wait, what kind of monster hunter are you? We're conservationalists here. <laughs> yeah! Right. We are killing these monsters so that they- um, natural balance. Y yeah. Preserve the natural be balance. Be All right. Because that always goes well whenever humans <laughs> try to fuck around with the ecosystem. <laughs> that always goes well. Right. Nothing bad ever happens when he when people do that. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Invasive species. What's that? Well, we're not. Uh, I don't know. We're we're not adding species. We're we're just selectively deleting selectively them. Selectively removing them. Yeah, that was just an example of ways humans mess with the ecosystem is invasive species. That's it. Just example. So that quest was from the Yukimo gal. She is very pleased. She picked that quest especially for us. She said it was perfect for us. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Bunch of scrubs can't take on a Rajang or a Devil Joe in low rank armor. Um, lady, who have you been talking to? What message boards have you been going on? I think you should stay away. Seriously. Hi. It's kind of funny, but at the same time, stay away. What next? We got. Aha! Shockadile again! You excited? <laughs> uh, that one that one popped up like right after we killed the Shockadile the first time. They're like, hey, there's a Shockadile in the the place. The Misty Peaks, go kill it. It's like, okay, I just killed one of them, but okay, we'll, we'll do another one. Well the first one was on the deserted island. Totally different. This is true. This is true. Different location. You know, those Shockadiles are just a menace. They have to be dealt with wherever they, they they pop up, right? I mean, they were bad enough to be mistaken for an island-destroying uh, catastrophe, so... That's true. I'm not sure how. They're not that bad. But they like, were. They, th they throw a bunch of lightning around, and they're kind of aggressive, but... Eh. I don't know. I call it Shockadile to avoid debating on how to pronounce its name. I call it Lagiacrus. Not Lagiacrus. <laughs> Darn it! I was hoping to avoid that! Foiled again. So, I mentioned last time, or whatever it was we fought this thing, uh, that its back is rather difficult to break. So I kind of made it my mission, this, uh, this hunt, to break that back. Gotta break those shockers. Mm-hmm. There is no reason I need to break its back, because all monster bits are equally valuable to me. It's just the principle of the thing. If a part exists, I want to break it. Well, the, the rare ones give you more scrap, I think. They do. They do. Um, at the same time, you're usually not lacking for scraps. Usually. What? What kind of armor is the Legiacris armor? Looks like a pirate. Oh, that's right. It's adorable. I I really like the armor. And uh, its weapon is an uh, electrical shocky axe. That's right. That looks like an anchor. It's it's great. Yeah, Legiacris has some really good gear. He does. Do you pronounce it Jif? Uh, no. I say Gif because it's a graphics interchange form. Yes. Then why do you pronounce it Lagiacris? It's Lagiacris. It that makes no sense. It, like, no, there's there's no it, it argument not. really for either side. I just think Lagiacris sounds better than Lagiacris. Like, is I... he French? Le guy. <laughs> He's Shockadile. That's his name. His name is Shockadile. Okay. I just prefer the sound of Lagiacris. Plus, Shockadile. that gives you the uh, opportunity to call him Laggy. Laggy, yeah. 
Oh, Laggy is a, is a good nickname for this guy. Like, I'm, I'm not sure where the, the GIF comparison came from, honestly. Because you're pronouncing it wrong. Uh, no. A, a, a pronunciation question. <laughs> look, look. Th this arguing is tearing us apart. Let's not. Let's all just get along, please. Look, this is a chill LP for chill people. But we can all agree that people who say GIF are monsters, right? <laughs> Uh, sure? Like, why are you talking about peanut butter? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, bad peanut butter also. Ugh. It's like, eh. I'm not sure what constitutes good peanut butter anymore, but it ain't that. <laughs> There's some, like, good local peanut butter that I get. Local peanut butter would be good. I admit, lately, I've actually been getting, like, powdered peanut butter. Okay. Because it, it kind of works like a protein powder, and if I put it in, like, my shake in the morning, it's like a peanut butter shake. Oh, that sounds good. It's good. Yeah. It's tasty, yeah. So that's what I've been doing. And if you add water to it, you can make basically peanut butter. So, <laughs> It works. I try to buy local whenever I can. Uh, same. You know, it, it's good to do. There's a lot of reasons to buy local products, and they are pra uh, practical reasons as well. And they're usually not that much more expensive these days no. than... Yeah, yeah. Yep. Healthier, too. We are now angry. Yes, generally. Fresher. Fresher stuff. Oh, hey. Hey, wait a minute there, Laggy. I've, I've got a, fre a fresh Furious Prime just for you. Let me rodeo you some more. That back's not broken yet. <laughs> Broke back mountain. Mm, no. Well, we are in the Misty Peaks. So, kinda, but also, no. I've never Just, actually no. seen that movie, so... I haven't either. I, I read, like, a synopsis, and I was like, okay, that's sure a thing. Like, yeah, yay. People yeah, it's, crazy over it's this definitely fly. not my thing. No. There it goes. Oh, All right. Back broken. Good break. Also, good segue away from a, a weird digression. Yeah. You just said back break and back. Well, yeah. That doesn't mean you have to necessarily go there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Super Metroid, this is a what does that thing called? Fuck. Yeah. Uh, Crocomire. Crocomire. Yeah, yeah. That's the name. Jeez. Ugh. I was trying to think of music to put over this guy and I thought, he's a crocodile. Wasn't there like a crocodile boss in Super Metroid? Croco something? Super oh, yeah, Metroid Croco 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 Meyer. Yeah, that's really good it's, music. Mm -hmm. it, it's definitely mm -hmm. not crocodile-esque in any way, though. No, but I, it, I, that's what I thought of, so that's music that I used. That's just, this is how my brain works. I'm, I'm actually not a uh, Super Mesh Croid expert, so I'm, I'm, I'm not... struggling to think of which one Crocomire is. I'm not I mean, either. It's this big old skeleton kind of thing. The, uh, the, the, the red guy that you push back into the lava and he... Yeah, yeah him. that's, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah. I have played Super Metroid once, just to say that... I, I did in fact play this game. Yeah, I got as far as the I, 2D Metroids go. I vastly prefer the Game Boy one, the Game Boy Advance ones. Yeah, I got Both Super Metroid for 30 cents when it was on sale on the Wii U. Yep, same. That's how I played it. Um, and it was the best 30 cents I've ever spent. Oh yeah, well, it was good. Like, don't get me wrong, it was good. But then I went and played, you know, Fusion and Zero Mission, and I said, these are better games. Sorry, they're better. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great game, and I, mm -hmm, I really enjoy the speedruns of it. It's probably my mm -hmm. favorite speedrun game, even though it's been mm -hmm. done to death. Um, it is a very speedrunnable kind of game. You can do some pretty ridiculous stuff in it, from what I hear. But I was just, I was yep. just thinking, you know, it has fantastic music, and then I was thinking mm -hmm. the Super Nintendo in general had amazing yes. music. Yes, it did. Yep. I, I too have played Super Metroid in a legitimate fashion, and in no way have ever emulated it. <laughs> that would require I you to own the game. I actually haven't. I just played it on the. Yeah, Wii I just U played it on the console. Wii U. That was it. 
<laughs> oh no, you were eaten by the dead laggy across. <laughs> I was, I walked right into his mouth. Sometimes, for like, a uh, end of hunt shenanigans, I like to, like, crawl inside his mouth and pretend to be, like, a lion tamer or something. You know, it, it's funny. Oh, you were vomited up by a dead laggy. Yeah. <laughs> you, you gotta do some kind of shenanigans for the end of hunt, because, you know, once you get your carves, what are you gonna do? The, you gotta do something. I wear a very tall hat and sit inside of the monster's, uh, like, model so that only the top of the hat pop, like, pokes out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Something like that. But, see, I'm not very tall, Liquidy. I'm a cat. So I, ha I have to make do. Get a tall hat. Tall cat hat. I guess Cat the Larinoth hat. hat is tall enough. I do not know why I hovered over that, that shell shocker. I, I think that's you what you get for breaking break. the back. Yeah. Okay, I got it, yeah. So I said, yeah, see? I broke its back. Yay! Anyway, so that's how you break a uh, Lagaya Chris's back. Just rodeo it a couple times. You're good to go. Hey. This was the guy who wanted us to kill that thing. He's from Moga, so yeah. this makes sense. He probably has a uh, has PTSD involving uh, shaka dials. So anytime one shows up, he's like, "Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it!" He was around for uh, uh, three U and played it in the water. Yep. Well, he, he's the farmer from Moga, so. Yep. Anyway, there's some new stuff we got for doing quests. We can have a Yukimo war fan. That's very, very, very fancy. I like that. And this is the Yukimo gal's hat. Very hat. -like. I like it. It's cute. Yeah, it's hat. It's a hat. It, it, and her robe, which is, you know, it's cute. It's cute, yeah. But very robe-like in its structure. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it, but yeah, I mean, it's cute. I mean, it's an outfit that you can wear. Yeah, it's, it is a, definitely an outfit that you can wear. And we are switching prowlers. We have shoe now. You know, speaking of outfits that one could theoretically wear, not to mm -hmm. date the video or anything, but I have a Halloween party, and I need to figure out what costume I want to wear. It is, oh. like, three <laughs> days before Halloween. Well, the, the party is uh, on the 3rd, actually. Oh, okay. The host okay. had to, like, play it late or something. Well, oh, no. I well. went to a Halloween party last night. Nice. And, uh, my boyfriend and I were... Got real drunk and made asses of yourselves? Do it. No, Do Jody, it. Jody doesn't oh. drink. Um, I, I had a bottle of, like, a full bottle of wine, though. Uh, <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, but, uh, we, uh, I was day, and he was night. Oh. Okay. Themed costumes. Yes. Well, it was a couple's costume, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what I meant, sorry. I, I got a, uh, I, a mask to wear. I had I, a... I got a, cr a crow. I like birds. I had so, a dream go. about our costume, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh man, that is too good not to mm -hmm. do it. Sure. Why not? It was really cool. Like, uh, I had a rainbow on my shirt, and Jody had sequin stars, and his hat lit up. Cool. Yeah. That is fancy. Oh no, you got I no had an idea. Bomb, yeah, I yeah I don't. This particular cat does not. I had an idea that perhaps the beast cat would be uh, good against Rathalos. I was wrong. She's she's not. He spends too much time in the air. So we just speed this up because it's just a lot of me running around waiting for him to not be in the air like an ass. Because he's an ass. The speed up music is the regular battle music from Final Fantasy IX. Yep. Which is a good game that has good music. It is. There are a lot of good games with good music. Yeah, so it's hard to decide sometimes. Yeah. To pick a music. Like, what do I pick? I don't know. What so, is so your much favorite music game, uh, game soundtrack? Ooh. Uh, I'd, I'd have to go with 
like in general, probably Okami. Yeah, Okami that is amazing. a really good soundtrack. Amazing. Yeah. What about y'all? I'd have to go yes, with something question. in the Zelda series. Mm-hmm. That's always a good choice. But Okami is basically Zelda. Basically is. Do you have an opinion, Liquidy? I don't think there's particularly one series I could actually pick out. Mm-hmm. I, like, everything has its standouts, and I, I cannot... Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I cannot Definitely. fairly choose on the spot which I would actually yeah. call a favorite. This is fair. That's fair. Like, I'm, I'm currently on a, uh, a Dynasty Warriors kick because a side mm-hmm. game recently came out. Yeah. And there's mm-hmm. a lot of good butt rock in the Warriors games, and I love it. Yeah! You gotta love some butt rock. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the, the, the Zelda butt rock in Hyrule Warriors. That is so it good. Is it good. is fantastic. Yeah. It is so good. I love it. Hyrule Warriors is a good game. I mean, when the, the Wind, Wind Waker expansion stuff came out, and mm-hmm. and the Wind Waker butt rock, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dry Dragon Roost Island butt rock. That was sick. <laughs> I was like, yes. Very yes, good. I'm extremely okay with this. This is good. Extremely good. Yeah. I just love video game music. Uh-huh. There is a lot of good music to be had in video games. It is a media, a medium rich with, with that sort of Do thing. Do you like mm-hmm. it when video games music has lyrics? Not really, except, uh... It, like it, ha- it has its place, but generally no, because it's distracting. I'm thinking it, of it, like Portal, Still Alive. That's a credit song. Yeah, though. that's fine. Or like Sonic Adventure 2. To bring that up again, like the very first song, Escape from the City. You know, I'll give that one a pass because that level is rad, <laughs> and that was fine. It, it sets the tone very well. I think it, it really does depend on, on the individual game, but you want to talk. It really does. You want to talk game music with lyrics? Let's talk about the king of lyrical game music, and that would be Metal Gear Rising: Revengeance. Holy uh-huh. shit! All of that music is fantastic. <laughs> ah. The uh, uh, the boss fights all have their own individual songs. The lyrics are actually about the characters you are fighting. Cool. Oh yeah. Okay, that sounds cool. Okay, so done well, it's fine. But maybe, t- but let's talk about an example of a game that does lyrical soundtracks that I really did not like. I hated the soundtrack to this game, and that was Xenoblade Chronicles X. Oh yeah. Oh god, <laughs> damn that the music! P- people will keep talking about about like, oh the music in this game is so good to have the soundtrack. I'm like, the music in that game sucks ass. I agree. It sucks sweaty it donkey so dick. Bad. I hated it. <laughs> wow. I hated it. Yeah, it was. It was awful. It was bad. And it wasn't mixed properly, it didn't loop properly, so not only was the soundtrack bad, the sound direction was crap. So, blech. No. Now, usually, uh, uh, Sound uh, off in the comments. Yeah, if if you like music in that game, fight me. Do it, fight me in the comments, IRL, right now. Let's do it. Yeah, more often than not, though, if if a game song has lyrics in it, even if it's a credits song, I might... Mm, I don't know, usually it feels bad, but there are mm-hmm. at least two examples I can think of that I really like. Uh, one being, yeah. you know, Revengeance, like I said. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, my it's, favorite like, is... Still, still Alive is fine. Yeah, my favorite That's is probably song. Still Alive. Yeah, I would say. There's a there's an extremely notoriously bad, out-of-place song that I can think of. And uh, I'm reasonably mm-hmm. certain Silver hasn't played it. So, Lobster, have you played Castlevania Symphony of the Night? Yes. So you're familiar with I Am the Wind. Yes. <laughs> Intriguing. And no, I have not played this oh, game. You it's need, on my you list. Need to play it. I don't own any system my that it's on. My favorite Castlevania, though, is Super Castlevania 4. Mm-hmm. But with Silver, you could totally, legitimately play Symphony of the Night. Legitimately. <clears throat> I, I'm aware <clears throat> that the possibility <clears throat> Jittimate. exists. <clears throat> Jittimately. <clears throat> I'm, I actually, I'm just extremely lazy. I actually own a PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Do Perhaps I, Lobster I, could 
mail you <clears throat> a PlayStation <clears throat> to legitimately play <clears throat> Symphony of the Night. <laughs> Maybe. Do you, do either of you own if... a PlayStation? Um, I have a PlayStation 2, but it's not hooked up, and I don't have a TV that it would work for it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Like, standard definition TVs, like... Have died. Don't I, yep. I, I have a I have the switch hooked up to a computer monitor that has HDMI in. I have a theory that like you know the way um record players have come back because hipsters have brought them back. My my yeah, theory sure. is that like in fifth, ten or twenty years, hipsters will bring back standard definition TVs to play video games on. I really hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't miss them. Yeah, that was that. Oh, that was the last quest we had. We got some new food ingredients, and we're done. That was uh, nice and quick. Yeah, that was really fast. Yeah, you know we don't need to have long, up, long updates all the time. So sometimes we can just, you know, knock them out real quick. Let's go. This is refreshing. Yeah, this was good. Yeah, ex exactly. Why? Thank you. <laughs> Glad you appreciate it. Okay. Until next time, we do the urgent to rank up. We'll see ya. Goodbye. Right, bye bye. Bye bye.